Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 5 of Direwolf20's Modern Skyblock 3 series. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, today, I would like to uh, make a little bit more uh, of an efficient area uh, for producing iron alchemical ore dust. So I'm going to basically move uh, all the things... Looks like this is a wooden block, so picking it up with a pickaxe is probably not necessary. Uh, from this location uh, to a new location, you can see uh, off camera there, I just spent a little time expanding this guy. Uh, so what I'm going to do probably is set up an area over here that will be responsible for uh, the modern skyblock stuff that I'm doing uh, to, to make resources, right? So we'll have the combustion thing there, we'll have the alchemy table here, and we'll have the new thing that we're going to work on today, uh, which is uh, the thing with the condenser. That's it. That's what I was looking for, condenser. Uh, crucible inserter, by the way. Uh, is cool stuff. Uh, yeah, that's something we're probably going to look at. Um, combustion collector is a thing I want to get, but I feel like we can't access it yet. We need the BFAA stage first. So uh, that's a restricted item. I totally want to have it, but I can't have it yet because it's locked behind an, a, a stage gate. So wah, wah, wah. that's all right. Uh, what we will do is uh, get situated with stuff and things. So let's rebuild uh, the stuff that we've already had built. Uh, pretty quickly. So what I'll do is I will put, um, let's do with this and the one, two, three. And I want to make sure this thing just forms properly because we did have that one little like weird derp situation. Actually, let's do this and this. Um, and then I'll probably want like that so I can get up top, right? So now in theory, this should be a formed combustion heater casing. Perfect. Oh, I burnt up a button, but that's okay. I can just make a new one. Nice. Cool. So easy peasy. Done deal, right? So now we have a combustion heater. Uh, there's, like I said, ways to automate this, So, uh, but they're locked behind a gate. So we have to wait until we complete more quests before we can automate this thing more. Right now, it's just a matter of uh, being patient. Hey, there's mobs spawning down there, and I don't appreciate that at all. Uh, I should do something about that, because you're... It's not the end of the world that they spawn down there, but technically they're going to slow down the spawns in there, and I'd rather not have that. So at some point I should clear that area out, probably off camera at some point. Um, so with that in place, let's go ahead and set up our alchemy. What I could probably do is just use this spot as my alchemy fusion table so I can boop onto there, and that would be cool, right? Uh, so that looks neat, and we've got Primus Alchemical Dust uh, that we can store over here. Uh, I'm thinking I should have... Um, probably a few things. One, I'd like um, a crafting bench so that I can do some any uh, crafting that we need to do on hand. So uh, this guy could chill maybe like right here-ish. That sounds like a nice spot for it, right? And we'll also definitely want a couple of chests um, that will be responsible for storing any and all resources that we need to deal with related to alchemy. Cool. Uh, now, iron alchemical dust is how we're going to get iron. And like we said before, kind of like with the combustion guy, there's this whole long complex process. Um, and, and there's a bunch of different casings. Uh, and there's a bunch of different alchemy guys that all uh, relate to uh, efficiency. And in terms of... Uh, so basically, like, as we expand here, like, early on, three iron ore will get me, like, you know, three iron ore. But, like, later on, it might get me, like, 100, right? So... Um, Basically, making better versions of this actually is a pretty significant uh, boost, which is cool. And I'm looking forward to playing with it a little bit. Speaking of things that I would like to have, how is my string situation? I have 12 string. Yay. Uh, that's cool because it means I can make a bed. I've been actually meaning to make a bed for a little while now. And uh, I haven't yet. So maybe now's a good time to do that. Uh, I think I will sleep... I don't know if there's anything specific that I actually need to sleep at. Uh, but here sounds like a nice enough place. As long as I don't just fall off the edge. Sweet dreams. Plus, um, you know, that's cool. Great. All right. So, time to build a thing. So if we look in our quest book, let's look in the quest book first. Uh, but then we'll look in the Sky Resources Guide to figure it out. So the basic um, task that I have set ahead of me um, would be to do condensation. In order to make ingots, you're going to need to set up for condensation. You can see how in the uh, Sky Resources Guide, this is how you make metals. So we're going to need stone casings, stone condensers, and we're going to need two fluid droppers. So let's uh, get crafting. I'll probably do some of my crafting still over here because most of my resources are over here. Uh, but we'll definitely want casing. So a stone 
casing is going to need a stone gear, which needs a wooden gear. Just out of curiosity, um, does this recipe also work like... Okay, cool. That's neat. Why would that recipe exist in JDI? And we're probably going to need more smooth stones. So let's like throw half a stack, half a 34. And you get going. And I haven't done any mining lately, but I probably should at some point. Because I actually don't have as much cobble uh, as I would have liked. Mostly because I just spent some time expanding my platform. Cool. So stone casing, good. Uh, what's the name of the other block that we need? Uh, stone condenser. So again, multiple tiers of this that all have different attributes that do different things. And I mean, you can get eventually get to some like pretty crazy things going on. Yeah, really big numbers eventually. But for now, really small numbers. Uh, so we're going to need a lot more smooth stone and some more primus dust. Not a problem. Not a problem. So we'll want you, you, and you for the stone alchemy component. And then we're going to need about six more stone for that. Um, in the meantime, it's probably not a bad idea for me to organize my inventory a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to put you guys in here as resources. Um, I do have like a lot of tools and stuff. Tools I've been kind of throwing in here. Um, like this has kind of been a miscellaneous resource collection thing. I don't know that I have any like real serious plans around it. Hey, I had a bucket in there. I probably made a bucket at some point. Uh, or I got it as a quest reward. I kind of forget. But yeah, throwing tools in here is not a bad idea. It's kind of nice having your own uh, handy little ender chest right from your UI. Sweet. All right, so there's the stone condenser. Uh, and then the other thing we need to make is two fluid droppers. Uh, so fluid droppers do exactly what they say. Uh, so we'll want two of those. One, two, and that, da ding completes the quest. Anything good for my loots? Uh, enriched bone meal. Sounds pretty cool. Grows instantly. I'll throw that in there for now, but that's actually kind of nice to have. Um, so now that we've done that, we can probably build this thing. Uh, now, I don't know what quests it might unlock from there. Uh, looks like redstone uh, is one of the things that might... Uh, iron. Iron's what it got. So uh, basically, I already got my iron ore alchemical dust stuff, which is cool. Now we need crystal shards. Um, so crystal shard, crystal shards. I think they're pretty easy as I recall. I think it's just glass, right? Yeah, glass in the alchemical infusion table. That's it. Don't get any easier than that. That is pretty much uh, as easy as you could ask for. So I'm gonna do this and this. And that sounds pretty cool to me. Uh, so we're gonna need to use our primus alchemical dust, which again is charcoal, blaze powder, and gunpowder. Right, so let's get basically a bunch of gunpowder. Um, and we've got a few pieces of charcoal. So while that's cooking, maybe I'll make a few more of these. Uh, so let's throw four of those in there. Uh, some fuel. Hopefully I can process all this. Sweet, I got 12 of that. All right, uh, and then if I wanted to make more of this, it would be three, two, one. Gunpowder being the three, right? So nine, six, and three. Does that make sense? Uh, and and refresh my memory on how much it costs. Three thirty-five. It may not be a good idea to do all three of these at once, but we'll try it and see what happens. Cool. So I'm definitely going to want uh, a full combustion heater. Yeah, it made some Primus, but uh, I don't think it made it all. I think it combined two sets. So, one, two, three, one, two, one. Or is it the other way around? It's the other way, isn't it? I double tapped by mistake there, I'm not gonna lie. Looking forward to having the thing that makes that more automated. Did I derp it up again? No, I think we're cool. Okay, good. One, two, three. One, two, one. I'm just going to get as much of this stuff as I can for now. It's not too bad at pricing-wise. That's cool. Now we're up to 21 of that dust. Beautiful. So we are, we are going to want a, a decent amount of it. Um, 
Nice. Well, that's... You know what I want to do is a real quick... And out of here, I'm going to snag you. So can I vein mine this? Uh, kind of. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's do this. Because I'm going to want a decent amount of this glass as well. And then I'm going to throw half of you in here and you in there. And I can tell already that I'm going to run low on this. So let's grab two of you. That should be good. And you. Nice. Okay. So we'll let that go. And then we need shards, right? So we're just going to put a few of this in here. Actually, I'm going to throw it all in here. I'm going to throw all my glass in. So remember, 75%. Uh, so basically, uh, what we saw before was one glass becomes two shards. But because our prime is not chemical dust, is only 75% yield, um, we need to burn through that a couple times in order for that to work. Bummer. Don't worry, we get higher yields pretty soon. Sweet. Ding, ding. Hooray! Uh, and then the next quest uh, component of this is making an actual iron ingot. So now we have to build the multi-block that's going to let this happen. Uh, so let's get started talking about alchemy. Uh, so the condenser is what we're going to need to build here. Uh, condensers require an item, usually uh, like iron ore dust, to use for condensing the block above. Condensers will output the result below itself, either in the world or into an inventory, only if the inventory has space. Cool. Uh, different variants of the condensers affect efficiency and all that stuff. Uh, it can be turned off with a redstone signal. So where's the part where you're going to show me how to build a multi-block? Because that's the part I came to this chapter for. Uh, alchemy condenser? Hello? Uh, I know I need a cruise. It's like a, it's a relatively complex multi-block too. Uh, Metal creation? This might be it? Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, cool. That's what we're talking about. So we're going to need that, 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 and that. Um, view the setup here. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, cool. So um, the chest goes underneath, and then the, the casing, and then I think the glass can be anything. And then I think we need two of the liquid droppers and that crucible thing that I already have one of. Uh, and I'm going to borrow it. And I'm going to borrow the obsidian as well. Um, now, I could use a torch to be slower, but since I got obsidian, and obsidian is a higher heat level than torches, it's probably a good idea to go this route. So let's build this thing. Uh, we're also going to want a chest. So chest goes here, right? And then we had the casing with the stone condenser in it, just like we had before. Cool. Um, and then there was like glass around an empty spot. Wasn't that right? Um, yeah. I don't know if it has to be glass, but it's showing glass there, so I'm gonna make it glass. I think it can be any solid block, I wanna say. But hey, let's, let's do glass, that sounds nice. I think these could technically be glass as well. What if I did that? I just want to test if that's true. Is that a valid multi-block? Yeah, it is. Sweet. That's kind of cool, because then at least you can see inside and what it's doing. Sounds nice, right? Uh, so the same thing needs to be done up here. We're going to want glass, 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 and glass. But then we're also going to need uh, these droppers that we made. So two fluid droppers. One, two, and then we're going to need a crucible to the side of one of the fluid droppers, and we need a heat source underneath it, which in this case will be obsidian. We might make that a better heat source later, right? Uh, so if I'm correct, I think that's a valid, well, it should tell me right here. If I, uh, it's not gonna, it might not tell me there if it's a valid multi-block, but let's check the guide thing just to validate that that's what I actually built, right? So the casing, uh, an empty block with four glass around it, and then one, two crucibles, um, and then that, right? In this representation, the torch is the, the heat source, so that's cool. Um, so let's actually remove you, because uh, you don't need to exist anymore. You and you. So you may not tell me, but long story short, um, we need to, and this is annoying, but I can't actually like right-click this into here. 
Uh, but I might be able to make the dropper. Can I make the dropper thing yet? It's in here. Uh, crucible inserter. Yeah, it's gated behind something, so I can't do that yet. But that's a block that basically acts like a hopper uh, for the crucibles. I guess droppers would work too there. Uh, but long story short, we need to drop stuff in. And I guess a dropper requires redstone, doesn't it? Which I don't think I have yet. I might have gotten one. Uh, but I'd rather not use the red stuff. I'd, I'd rather just do it manually for now, which stinks, but we'll live. So if I'm not mistaken, I just drop these crystal shards in here. Uh, and they will start turning into fluids. Cool. I think. Slowly but surely. And look, there's a fluid up there. Cool. Right, so this tank is filling up with a fluid, right? So the crystal shards are turning into fluid, and it's filling up the fluid droppers in these two locations, right? So this fluid dropper is going to fill up first. You can see that, you know, right there is happening. And then this one's going to start filling up. And then once that's full, this guy's going to start filling up. Sweet. All right. So the crystals turn into crystal fluid, and the crystal fluid is what allows uh, the creation of iron and other metals, obviously. Right? So that's going to fill up, and then we're going to get this guy filled up. That's pretty cool. I like that. So uh, should we do the thing? I think if I just throw an iron ingot in there, it's going to start processing, right? Now remember, we're at speed and efficiency. These two things relate to how much iron we're going to get from a single alchemical ore dust. Ding! We just got a little bit. It used up a little bit of the stuff, and that's pretty cool, actually. Two, three, maybe? We might get three ingots from one dust with our current speed and efficiency. That's about what it looks like to me is three. Yes. And then it went to do a little bit more, and then it stopped. But look, we got three iron. Sweet. Achievement get. Acquire hardware. Quest complete. Iron. Woot. Quest. Fancy lantern. Not super exciting. Nice, dudes. I like it. So uh, that's iron and all other uh, metals production, for that matter, uh, which is cool. Nice, dudes. So we've got our first production of metal. That is what's up. Um, we now have the ability to make lapis if we want from a cauldron. Uh, so that's a quest we can do. Uh, magna magnified stone when touching crystal fluid generates cobblestone. Oh, okay, cool. Um, well, it may be a void. You can use the nether for making gold farms, but most importantly for obtaining blaze rods from blazes, which can only spawn on netherrack. Cool. Okay, uh, so that's cool. Netherrack looks like a thing that we need to make at some point. Uh, what other quests can I knock out while I'm here? Life infusion? Uh, sandstone and fusion stone? Didn't I make one of those? I thought I had one of those. Maybe it's, uh, you know what it probably is? It's, it's, it's not. Um, oh, it's, I have a red sandstone and fusion stone. And you want a sandstone and fusion stone? I could do that for a quick quest completion. Little sidebar, but right, so that's like just four pieces of sand and we're good. Sweet. So I kind of like this uh, approach to resource generation. It's a little bit different, obviously, uh, than what we're used to with, uh, with, with other ways of producing resources and other mod packs, but this is cool, right? Complete. Nice. That just gets that out of the way. You know what I mean? Uh, and then I got anything good? Uh, Waterstone from Chisel. Womp womp. Nothing exciting. I've had a few good rewards and a few less than exciting rewards, if I'm being honest. Uh, hopefully soon I can automate that cobble gen, because I would hate to have to stand there and mine that a lot. All right, let's look at the quest book. So that's cleared that out. Uh, compressed cactus is a thing. Knives is a thing. Compressed cactus cutting knife. Okay. Maybe just to get the quest out of the way. I'm assuming that you are nine, right? So yes, doing that and then doing that should get me complete. Nice. Just to get the reward, right? Pirate hat. Nice, I like it. Sign me up. I want a pirate hat. 
Oh, I can't wear it as a bobble? That's a bummer. It might go in the... No. Oh, well. I'll wear the eye patch, though. Yar. Cool. All right. So, actually, I'm going to hang on to you guys. Um, I'm going to put you guys in here and drop this off the edge of the cliff because I'm not going to really need him too much right now. Nice. All right. Taking a nap, and we're right back. So, I think I'm going to get a little bit more iron cooking, uh, unless I did something wrong here. Is that not right? Oh, right. That's wrong. That is wrong. That doesn't go there. These guys go... Is it that? Yeah, two to one there. Nice. So as an FYI, you can kind of, if you're being like super efficient with stuff, burn that 75% inefficiency thing uh, by basically running stuff through it. Oh wow, are we out of uh, are we out of crystal already? Might not be a terrible idea. For now, at least, to build like a proper staircase up to this thing, because I am going to legit need to get up there relatively frequently to do that, right? I think this has like an internal heat buffer thing that it already builds up. Cool. All right, good deal. So you're doing your iron out ore thing. Nice. All right, so making progress. Uh, maybe a few more blaze dudes so I can get a little bit more iron. Um, and I think the next thing I'd like to do get like four of you sweet um so is that accurate yeah that should be good that should get me a decent amount of iron actually cool so i'm good on glass did my glass finish smelting so I'm gonna need a healthy amount of that too. While you're at it, let's make sure my trees are planted over there. Uh, saplings might be in here. Cause we're totally gonna need more wood soon. For more charcoal, among other things. So yeah, you actually do a good job of uh, taking a long time. This thing actually burns up crystal fluid faster than I thought it might. Not the end of the world by any stretch, but yeah, it totally does. Let's try and get a lot of that stuff, right? But don't worry, once we get past, like, the Primus stage, what's what's involved in making Secundus? Uh, blaze powder, redstone, and alchemical iron. Alchemical iron is iron in that. So that's actually not bad. What's in term, what, what, what's, what's the deal with redstone? Where do I get this from? I kind of forget. Uh, combustion of gunpowder. Okay, cool. That actually seems, like, totally doable. Hold on. Everybody stop doing what you're doing for a minute. Um... Because if I'm not mistaken, this might be easier to make than I thought, and that would be cool. So say that again. If I wanted Segundus, which, uh, am I, is that unlocked as a quest option yet? Requires redstone. Redstone requires let me smash. Let me smash requires making your first place are going to need a stone hammer and a crushing table. Um, cool. I don't know that I need to make that, but we'll make it just so we do it in the quest order. But I think I can start this sooner than later. Uh, but let's see. So we need, it said, a stone hammer and a crushing table. All right, so crushing table looks pretty straightforward. I might even have some smooth stone for that. So I need some sticks and I need some wood. Grow, trees, grow! Technically, I don't think I have to do this before I get my hands on redstone, but I might as well just do it in the order that the quest has me doing it. There we go. Cool, so crushing table, and then you want me to make a stone hammer? Stone hammer. Easy peasy. Okay. That wasn't so bad. And I got a secret donut. You cannot comprehend this donut. I... I what? <laughs> I can't comprehend the donut? I mean, it doesn't seem that hard. It's a donut. Uh, because I don't really know what this, this is for, I'm going to put it here. 
Um, and I assume I need to have this in my inventory for hammering things. But simply by doing that, it unlocks the quest for, I thought, redstone. Right, here we go. To make redstone uh, needed for machines and redstone mach mechanisms, you're going to need 880 HU, which the iron casing allows you to reach. Ah, so there's your reasoning for needing that. Okay, uh, redstone requires uh, 880 heat units. There's the there's the rub, right? So this thing can only go up to 600. So I do need iron. I do need iron. All right, so uh, in order for us to make this, we're going to need an iron casing, which has a higher efficiency and a higher heat unit. So that's good, right? Uh, so casing, iron casing requires iron plates around an iron gear. Got it. Say no more. I understand. Um, so an iron gear, I presume. Oh, I can just make that that way. Uh, but out of curiosity, is there a cheaper method? Thermal foundation and build craft. Thermal foundation and build craft. That might work. So I want to make the Tesla core lib one, uh, which is going to be you with stone around you. And then we're going to need any and all iron that we've already gotten. Sweet. We've already gotten a lot of iron, actually, which is good. Uh, am I hurting for more of this stuff? I think I am. I'll uh, I'll cook up a bit more of this. Cool. Uh, but I should be able to therefore make this. Cool. And then for casings, we need eight iron. So how do we use this thing again? Uh, the hammer dude? Yeah, I was wondering why I needed that. Simply put an iron on the crushing table and hit it with the hammer to turn it into a plate. Keep in mind that it doesn't work with all metals, and especially not alloys. Okay. So, we need to hit this dude. Sweet, that's kind of cool. I like that, actually. That's, that's kind of a nice effect. I wonder if um, better hammers are, like, either faster uh, or if they can do different types of metals or what the deal is. But that's kind of cool. Okay. So I made one more than I needed um, unintentionally, but that's all right. I'm sure I'll need it for um, the condenser. So can I make an iron condenser then? More speed and more efficiency? Just needs iron plates and iron alchemy components. Mm. Quest complete, redstone. Right, because I already got redstone from a loot bag. But yeah, in theory, I should be good here. So let's remove you. Technically, I should be able to combine you with you and you and your valid multi-block. Sweet. And then to make redstone, let's make it the proper way instead of from the loot bag way. Uh, it is two gunpowder and two blaze powder, right? So what I'll need to do is convert you right? and then two gunpowder, two blaze powder. And it's like 880, I think. Wow, super close. Redstone for the win. Nice. That's what's up. Okay, now I can uh, feel good about completing this quest because I actually did complete it. I got, oh, another diamond wand. Sweet, I'll take it. You can go in there. Well, I don't want to take up my space in this spot too much. Uh, I'll put you away for now. And real quick, going to break down these trees. Be right back. So now, in theory, let's try this out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is drop one of these guys in here. Are you enough still? Dude? Nice. Uh, you, three of the, no, it was one of these and three of these should make alchemical, alchemical iron ore, which is needed for Segundus. And then two redstone and two blaze powder, uh, which will be another one of these. See why we need so many mob drops? Yeah. So uh, two redstone, two blaze powder. Um, if I, I want to try something real quick. I want to make sure that I get it. Okay. So that, so if I burn one of these, right, watch. So this, I'm wasting a resource right now. So if I had just now made the Segundus, I would have wasted this and these guys and these guys. But since I burned the glass, now we can make this resource and nice, we get five Segundus. 
That's cool. I like that. So I'm going to take you out and put you in. Now, what I'm going to do um, is probably burn a piece of glass. Right? And what that should do now... You didn't use my Segundus. Oh, you're burning through this. Hold on. Once this bar is used up, we'll be cool, right? So I'm burning glass because that's a cheap resource. And I'm, I'm using up all my Primus, which is going to go in here going forward. Hey, Segundus is complete. Yay. So one more of these, and that should burn up the last of my Segundus. Nice. Now we're at 175%. Sweet. So check out this, right? I'm going to make another one of those. So uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to need a little bit more of this. Not enough heat to do both of them, but that's all right. We'll do it again. Cool. So uh, I'm just going to, I think, I don't know if there's a way to remove that, but you get the idea, right? So I got one, two. Nice. Right uh, now, I don't know exactly what this line's at, but I want it to be kind of high uh, when I run through this. Because remember, you're getting 75%, right? So that's going to be one. That might be two sets of this. It is, but that probably won't be two sets. Well, it's 175%. So this should also be two sets, and then this set won't be two sets, right? This will just be one. See, but it gets the bar high again. Cool. So now, if I choose this time, um, so we need. Uh, two redstone, so I'm going to need four redstone uh, and four blaze powder. All right, so I'm going to make a little bit more redstone, which should get me the four that I need there. And then I just need one more set of this. I might be out of gunpowder, but that's okay. We'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, but having this is going to be huge, trust me, right? So then we want one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And that's going to get me, look at that. Look how much more Segundus I'm getting now. Sweet. That's what's up, right? So one set, two sets. So it's 175%. So basically, every for out of every four crafts that you do, one of them, you'll only get one set of resources, but the other three, you'll get two sets of resources. So keep an eye on the purple bar to know which point you're going to get one or two sets of resources for, right? Um, now, if we wanted to make iron alchemical ore dust, right, which we have some here. Um, Actually, yeah, this part doesn't get modified by this thing, by this yield thing, right? I don't need that over there. But I can get more iron alchemical ore dust, right? So iron alchemical ore dust is uh, one zombie flesh, right? And two blaze powders, right? So if I do this and this, we should get one, two pieces of iron, and that's cool, right? Now, if I want to burn one, because I'm at the 25% mark, I burn one piece of glass and we'll get very close to having another bit cool so see how to do that waste a piece of glass uh to make yourself a little bit more uh careful right and now we've got that much more iron so we we've already improved the efficiency of this system and it's only going to get more efficient as time goes on uh because what we're going to find uh pretty soon for that matter is that um is it called out chemical yeah, so 75, 175, the next tier is 450. And then the tier after that is 3,200. So rapidly get to the point where you're going to get, like, way more. So that's cool. Not to mention this stone casing and condenser, as we increase the efficiency and speed of this, we'll wind up getting more iron ingots per iron alchemical ore dust. Basically, it makes this bar move slower, um... Like, I think it makes this move faster, I think is what speed does, but speed doesn't affect this bar at all. So, like, it'll, this bar will move at a steady rate, but it'll produce iron faster and faster, is what speed does, I think. And then efficiency makes the bar actually move slower. So that's kind of cool, right? All right, wrapping up point, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We've got iron, we've got redstone, we've got access to probably most of the metals. So, like, for example, copper needs pumpkin seeds and gunpowder. So we're going to have to find pumpkin seeds at some point, but I'm sure that shouldn't be too bad to figure out. Uh, but what we are going to do is wrap up the episode. So Double 20 signing off, take it easy.